As much as I hate to admit it, I was a band kid. Nope, not this type of band kid. I promise to you, I was just a normal nigga who knew how to play saxophone. Don't play me like a loser. I was a band kid from like fifth grade to freshman year. Well, shit, I'm still a band kid if you know what I'm saying. Counting them hundreds and fifties like what? My best friend is Benjamin, shorty. Well, you know. Not yet, but soon to be. But the reason why I didn't last in band past freshman year, well, really through the first month of freshman year, is because of my lame ass f conductor, teacher, whatever you want to call it. Oh my god, what a bitch. So in middle school, band was quite simple. You met up four days a week, unless you were in choir, where you only met up two days a week then. And I didn't really like band, plus choir had some hoes in it, so I joined choir. Completely irrelevant, but... Choir had some hoes in it. One of the reasons band was so easy in middle school was because everybody was ass. I didn't have to put in no real work for real to be good amongst my peers. Not even to toot my own horn or anything, but I was pretty good. Get it? Like tooting your own horn, band? I shouldn't have to explain this joke. We had concerts like every other month, and it was easy, except for one time in the year. Band was 100% doable besides this one time of the year. Wait. Wait, no, 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 no. No, stop it, please, no! Why? Why? Oh my god, make it stop! I f***ing hate marching band. I hate standing stiff as hell in that hot ass weather in that hot ass suit with them hot ass instruments. The teachers will go from, okay class, let's flip to a uh, page, whatever, whatever the f***. To left, right, left, right. And the other thing about marching band in middle school, that shit was after school. Instead of going to the crib, kicking my feet up, playing basketball outside, hanging out with friends, I was stuck with a bunch of band kids. And when I say band kids, I don't mean me band kids. It's niggas in the back corner fucking Goku, Super Saiyan powering up. You got the weird hoes that smell bad. You got the trumpet kids that will not stop playing the Wii theme song. So I'm surrounded by all these weirdos. I got this grown ass adult trying to teach me how to walk. And I'm hot as shit outside. I don't think I have to go on, my nigga. Marching band is not it. But it was once a year at the end of the year. So I just dealt with it. Now, high school. What I didn't know about high school, or at least underestimated it, how important marching band is. Especially a school like mine where football is the number one sport. But like I said, I didn't know how important it was. So when I was told I have to go to a damn marching band camp over the Summer for high school? Gee, I almost fainted. Literally, I almost fainted. Let me tell y'all niggas what they had us doing. From like 9 a.m. to I want to say 7 or 8 p.m., we are on the football field marching, regardless of the weather. 98 degrees outside? That conducting bitch did not give a fuck. Sitting comfortable as hell with her sunglasses. Motherfucking ice water bottle whenever she wants it. On everything I love, I wanted to spit in that shit. So we're doing reps and reps and reps of marching, of playing music, just trying to get the hang of shit. And they hated me. Y'all will soon learn. I ain't give a fuck who you was. Teacher, conductor, motherfucking principal. I never got along with authority. Unless it was a coach. All coaches get respected. So when niggas would come up to me off their ass from sitting in the shade to finally coming in the sun only to talk to me. Tell me my left foot is too far ahead of my right or some shit like that. Oh my god you could suck a dick. I just ignored them or brushed them off or like I, I clearly showed that I didn't give a fuck. And they hated that. With that being said, I still came every single day. That's what she said. I wasn't trying to half-ass any of the drills they were giving us. Because at the time, I'm an athlete and I know what it's like to go through the motions. You're not supposed to do that. So I'm genuinely putting work in this hot-ass sun and you're on my ass about little petty shit. Like, come on. And because they didn't like me, it just got worse and worse and worse. But I got through the summer and come fall, I was ready for the first football game. We had been working on the same routines for the past, like, three months. Late nights, raining, didn't matter. We were practicing them routines every day. And, like, two days before before the big game, the conductor comes up to me. Hey, Trey, can I talk to you real quick? Uh, yeah, what's up? I see you're still having trouble with the whole footwork thing. You know, left in front of right. What? What are you talking about right now? Well, what I'm really trying to say is we can't have you on the field. So new plan. We're going to have you stand in front of the crowd while the rest of the band, you know, does their little thing behind you. Wait, so you want me to throw away the past three months of my life while looking like a complete goofy in front of the entire school? Well, when you say it like that, it sounds way worse, but... Yeah. This bitch done lost her fucking marbles. I already don't want to be in band in front of all the hoes. And now you want me to stand by myself in front of all of them. <laughs> No, that is a hell no on top of a shit no. Sprinkle with a little bit of 
fuck no. I wasn't gonna tell her that right then and there though. Oh no, 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 no. I'm gonna agree to your terms for right now. So for this like last two days of practice, you know, I'm actually practicing standing in front of the entire crowd. She's over here patronizing me, telling me I'm doing good. In my head, I'm thinking, this bitch thinks this is good? Just wait till fucking game day. So after school, everybody has to come to the band room. They got pizza for us. Motherfuckers is getting ready. Some niggas look nervous out of their minds. And I mean, I, I guess I get it. If you really care about this marching band shit, I could see why you're nervous. But a nigga like me, I was ready. I have never been so excited to be a part of band. After the pizza pregame, we get to our little section and get ready to get on the field. Well, not me, because I had to stand in front of the entire crowd. So I'm separated from the group and we get on in like five minutes. So the conductor's getting ready for the crowd. The moment that bitch stopped looking at me, I sprinted to my group to get ready on the field. Cause what the fuck do I look like standing in front of the crowd? That shit was B. I got on that field and killed it. And just because they were so worried about my footwork, I started motherfucking moonwalking on that bitch. Couldn't tell if it was Trey or Michael Jackson out there. So after the game, she asked me to stay after, obviously. She's going on and on about how what I did was wrong. In my eyes, she could tell I don't give a fuck. Cause if I did, I wouldn't have even done it. And because she sees that, she goes, well, you're gonna have to clean up all this pizza, all these plates, all these napkins, honestly, the entire room, if you wanna stay in this band. I looked at that bitch and told her straight to her face, we both know I'm not cleaning this up, and walked my ass the fuck out that room. I felt like a gangster after that shit. Untouchable. After quitting a marching band. I just tried to make quitting a marching band sound cool. Whatever, I felt cool as shit at the time. And that's pretty much the story. I haven't touched my saxophone since. Don't feel bad about it, I still kinda know how to play piano. Yeah, I'm a musical nigga, yeah. I'm a musical nigga, my chopper sing when it's triggered I'm dropping more than some litter, be spitting like I'm illiterate I'm on the biggest shit, yo bitch wanna come fuck with me, say I got a bigger dick. I got these diamonds, they shining behind me, they blinding They know not to try me, I'm finding a reason I'm dying I don't trim my shoes, keep on tying, smoking, I'm flying, drinking, I'm driving How the fuck I go from YouTube to rhyming? How the fuck you hear this shit and yo, I still not subscribing? Lame ass, you can't tell me that you not in here vibing Lame ass, I won't lie, this rapping shit getting tired So I'ma just go post this video and get straight to typing, bitch